Hey guys, it's Chantel Ray, and I want to give you a special gift. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be giving you a couple of tastings from all four books, Waste Away, Fasting to Freedom, One Meal in a Tasting, and Freedom from Food. So each week, you'll get a different one. And by the way, we do have a Facebook group, and we get all kinds of questions. And they're great questions, but I'm thinking to myself, have you read the book? These are all in there. And so by the way, if you haven't joined, go to Intermittent Fasting and and OMAD group. We'll put the link in the show notes. But I want to give you a couple of testimonies. One girl said, my name is Liz and I have an incredible testimony that involves this book. At the end of 2015, I incurred an injury from work that would require surgery to rectify the situation. She says some more stuff, but bottom line, she says, I ordered the book and in one year, actually less, I'm thrilled to be down 70 pounds. My feet say thank you. My frame of 5'3 is back to its normal self. I'm a police officer, so being in shape is a must. I testify everywhere. I go and recommend this book to at least 30 people. Liz. We have another one from Tamika in North Carolina. I want you to know that I lost 10 pounds after listening to your book, but then I listened to it again three more times and lost that extra 20 pounds. I heard one of the girls on the podcast talking about how she lost that additional weight from listening to the book, and she is right. So I lost a little bit, then listened again, then lost a little more, then listened again, then lost a little more. Thank you so much. This has been a blessing. So just so you know, listening to it over and over and over is really the key. So what I want to encourage you right now, you can get all four books. You can get the ebook and the audio book for only $39.99. Go to ChantelRayway.com and get all four of them. Get them on ebook and on audio book. Each week, you'll get a little tasting. Hope you enjoy today's. Who do I want to be in my weight loss? For me, I want to eat like an intuitively thin eater that never goes on a diet ever in her life. I want to break free of diet jail. I never want to have foods to buy. I never want to count calories or count points. I want to control my portions and satisfy my hunger. I only want to eat when I'm physically hungry, and I want to recognize when I'm truly hungry instead of eating for emotional reasons. I want to obey God, and I never want to overeat. You have to put systems in place to be successful. And in this book, you're going to hear systems that some of the thin women use that make them successful. The number one system they use is eating one meal and a tasting. Every once in a while, one meal, and sometimes one meal and two tastings. The majority of what they eat is a keto flex diet without knowing that they are eating that way and sprinkling their meal with some decadent foods they love. Remember what your end goal is. Who do you want to be? I want to share with you some conversations I had with some of my friends. We will dive deeper later in the book, but this will give you some insight into the lives of women that I respect and value who happen to be thin eaters. I believe that people learn from real stories from real people. And these people are as real as it gets. My friend Andrea is one of the few thin people I know who have a longer eating window. At 9 a.m., she's eating her tasting in the morning, and then she eats dinner at night. She usually skips lunch. Because of this, she will sometimes do two tastings. She will do something really small in the morning, like a quarter of a banana, four strawberries, and three nuts. That's how little she is eating in the morning. In the summer, she only does one meal in a tasting because she wants to be thinner in the summer for the bathing suit season. For me, one of the things I did to lose a lot of weight is intermittent fasting by eating in a six-hour window. I still have more weight that I want to lose, but it's because I was eating two meals a day that I failed to lose the weight. The only way for me to get to the weight that I want is to do one meal and maybe a tasting depending on how big that one meal is. Where I went wrong was eating two meals in that six-hour window. And the other thing is, if I ate too much at lunch, I should not have a tasting at dinner. I wasn't physically hungry. That's the difference these women did. If they have too much at lunch, they don't have dinner. That's a big deal. This is going to be mind-blowing to you. Go to Google and search for weight and calories. 
you will see that it's like 40 calories or more per five pounds. Again, I'm not counting calories, but some charts show you the calories needed to lose five pounds is a very small amount of food. It can be the difference in eating half of an apple a day that can make you five pounds heavier. And again, I'm a big proponent of not counting calories, but sometimes I must mention this to open up people's eyes. The smallest amount of extra food could be keeping you from being the weight you want to be. Hey guys, I really want you to join our Intermittent Fasting and OMAD Facebook group. We're doing tons of giveaways right now for posting your before and after pictures and just for posting a question in there. We're giving away free protein shakes, some digest aid, all kinds of fun stuff. So please join our Intermittent Fasting and OMAD Facebook group. The link is in the show notes. Thin eaters are cognizant of calories. They know that avocado is high in fat and calories, but it also is so great for you. They will not eat two whole avocados in a sitting. I can tell you I have probably eaten more than two avocados while eating guacamole, but again, I have to be mindful to not eat too much and let it get out of control. What is important to note is that none of these women are counting calories. I have provided the approximate calorie count for context, but I assure you they aren't counting calories. When asked what this looks like on a day-to-day basis, my friend Missy said, at 1 p.m. I wanted chicken tenders, so I ate one and a half chicken tenders over top of a salad. Another day for my tasting, I ate one piece of toast with an egg and a slice of bacon. But both nights at dinner, It's protein and non-starchy vegetables. It's probably about 300 calories for my tasting. One night, I might eat onions, mushrooms, and a half of a steak for dinner. Another tasting, I would make pickled vegetables and an arugula salad with hummus. It's either a salad with protein or half of a sandwich or an open-faced sandwich. I only eat one slice of bread with whole grains. Then at dinner, I will have protein and veggies. I eat what I want, but I eat a lot of veggies. Over and over, the stories are consistent. I eat one meal at night and I eat something 200 to 450 calories for my lunch, even though they never know how many calories it is. One of the reasons they almost all have lunch as a tasting and dinner as the meal is because they wanna have a lot of energy during the day. Digesting food takes a lot of energy. They have enough during lunch so they don't go crazy at dinner. So if you look at how many calories these women are eating, it's approximately 1,400 to 1,500 a day. They're having, you know, 1,200 calories in their dinner and about 300 calories in their tasting. It isn't that thin women actually pay attention to counting their calories, but they are aware of when they are actually hungry, eat what they want, and have a small tasting instead of a midday meal and don't overeat. I would ask someone, what do you eat and what time do you eat? Nine times out of 10, they would say, you know, I'm just not a big breakfast person. I never eat breakfast. So I start eating around one o'clock and then I usually eat dinner around 5.30 p.m. I pretty much finish around 6 p.m. I would ask another person and she would say, I start eating a snack around 2 p.m. I'll have something small and then I will have dinner around 6.30 p.m. After interviewing them more in depth, I realized that all of them were eating one medium-sized meal and a snack or a tasting. For example, when I asked my friend Laura, what did you eat yesterday? She remarked that she had a big lunch and said, you know, I was full, so I didn't eat anything the rest of the day. This is a perfect example of how I would have watched her eat that big meal and in my mind before I would say, see, she can eat whatever she wants and still stay so thin. But I didn't realize that's all she ate for the whole day. I would eat exactly what she ate, but then go home and eat dinner and be like, why am I not thin? I ate exactly what she did. When in reality, I had eaten so much more. As I began to dig deeper, I realized what all these thin women were doing. Not only were they doing intermittent fasting, but it seems like they were just having one meal and a tasting or just one meal some days. I realized that the thinnest girls naturally eat this way. The other piece is asking the question, what are you deciding to eat? One of the biggest questions they ask themselves is, how am I going to feel about myself after I eat this? The second is, How am I going to feel physically after I eat it? 
is it worth it? Almost every person I would interview would say, if I have a carb or bread for lunch, I would not be having rice or potato for dinner. Not because they didn't want another serving of carbs, but rather the excess carbohydrates would make them feel overly full. They might have one slice of bread on an open-faced sandwich for lunch and salmon and veggies for dinner. They might have a burger with no bun and then eat some fries and shrimp and vegetables for dinner. For lunch, they might have grilled chicken salad and then dinner is maybe rice and chicken and broccoli. I'm beginning to see a trend here. They all say, I don't like to be too full after I eat. 100% of the women I interviewed always said they don't like to be too full because they feel tired and have no energy if they eat too much. This, that, or bites of both. I'm going to talk about that several times in this book. This is how thin eaters eat. Thin eaters are not getting pasta, bread, and dessert. They are either getting pasta or bread or dessert. If by chance they want to get all of them at one meal, then they only have three bites of pasta, three bites of bread, and three bites of dessert. But they normally don't do this. It is this, that, or bites of both. I tried to make it catchy so you can say it every time you're making a decision. Should I have this or that, or do I want bites of both? 